Hi there, I'm back again. This is the same day, of course. Uh, I just got done with a review. I'll put them up one by one. Uh, this is a review of the survival kit, the upgraded version. I'm going to put a link down below for uh, the video before the out for the Altoids 10. This is just upgraded. I put more stuff in it. Um, this is a old wallet box that came with my, uh, one of my old wallets. And uh, I sealed the bottom of it because my friend uses the same thing. Uh, I still got more stuff in here than he does. He got like maybe five things. I got like 20 on it. But it's estimation of 20. Uh, just uh, go to the link below for... Uh, the uh, video for the survival Altoids 10 I recommend you watch it uh, if you want me to make a survival uh, uh, how to make a survival kit I will do that uh, just comment below if you want me to make one uh, I'd probably the lighting probably bad in here so I don't know. I'm using my iPod instead of my camera um I sealed it. I got a little tab here. Let's just go on and do with the review. Uh, this is the tape, the waterproof it. I would use duct tape, but I ran out. Okay, I'll set this aside. It's really tough because I sealed every single crack on this thing. Okay, um, in the lid here, I got two match strikers. I got two of the small match bo uh, match, uh, match boxes, and I glued them together with Elmer's glue. See that? Hang on. There. Sorry if it's reflecting into the camera, even though I can see myself. Uh, uh what else? Um... I got some more water tablets. I had to get, I had to renew them because I tore the other one open and they were like disintegrated. Literally, uh, I got I wrote on the sharpie marker step one. This is step two. What was that? Step. You see it? It's supposed to be a two. Yeah, two. The bottom line got rubbed off somehow. Um, in here, I got some, uh, algae pills, they're dissolvable, so you could dissolve them in water and probably put it on a wound or something. In here, I got cut matches, if you can see that they're in the lot here. Matches, I just, they're not about that long, but I cut them down to about that long. Um, I got some cotton here. I want to soak some in petroleum, but this took too much time. This is electrical tape. I'm, I ran out for right now. Uh, some electrical, uh, electrical tape, uh, cotton. Uh, I got the Altoids tin. Like I said before, please go to the uh, description down uh, to the. Go to the link down below to the Altoids 10 review on that video. The lighting's bad. And it's the video quality. Even though it's an HD camera, you know. Okay, right here, like I said in the video before, I got some paracord that I made. It is, uh, what is that? Of course, I got a huge, I got a bigger one of these. I just can't find it. Like in the living room or something. Um, this is. I hate these things. These things are so stubborn.
that's the TV in the background in the living room. Uh, come on. I don't want to untie the ends because I wouldn't be able to come back. It's like. It's like 16 feet on the. Uh, 14 feet on this thing, I think. <sighs> come on, you stubborn thing. Of course I got locked, it's just being stubborn right now. How about I do it on the right now? I'm on my bed right now, of course. Instead of in the living room. Okay, here's the measurement. Measurement is 14 and a half inches, and that's 14 foot of uh, paracord and so on. Um, in the bottom of the, I can tell you the stick. In the bottom of the tin, I got some more band-aids. They're waterproof with some clear tape. Yeah, I got four band-aids in there. Um, that is a review of my survival Altoids tin. Uh, Altoids. My survival tin. It's not an Altoids tin anymore. It's uh, just a plain old tin. I hope you like this video. I'm putting it back together now. So I won't forget later. I might need it. <laughs> you never know these days. Magical tape sticking to everything. Um, I'm wanting to make a survival video, but I can't because I'm having surgery in April on my appendix. April 1st is when I'm having it. And no, it's not a joke. Uh, even though April 1st is April Fool's, um, I'm having it that day. And hopefully a month after that, I can make this rubble video. And this and that's going to be at my uncle's because he lives in the woods. I sort of live in the apartment. You know, so... Didn't stretch it out enough. Okay. It's not going over the end here. I got one. There. And that is a review on this. If I put this up before my survival pack, just go on to uh, just wait for the next video. Um, or the next video would be my survival pack because there's a lot in there. It will not not. It's the back's over overrated. Even though it's a good hiking bag, sort of. Uh, I would transfer it into another bag. Um, when I get done with the uh, survival pack, I'll do it again. Uh, I'll review it again because I'm going to need a few more things. Uh, I'm wanting to get a few videos of me hunting on here too. That's going to be on my camera though. Oh, I need to get a new laptop. Um, that is a review of my survival Altoid. Uh, Al I cannot stop saying Altoids 10. I'm so obs obsessed with Altoids 10. This is the review of my survival tin. Um, if 
you want to know how big it is it's like four and a quarter big I got a lot of stuff in here just go to the link below in the description and that will take you to the uh, survival Altoids 10 um, my next review is going to be on uh, my first aid kit it's homemade of course um, uh, see you later or next video rather uh, please like and subscribe leave a comment uh, if you need, have a question leave a comment below and see y'all next video